Hey everybody, my name's Epos Vox, and I'm here to tell you about a new Linux distribution that I'm going to be using and that I would like to tell you about. It is called Pingui, 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 maybe OS. Let me pull up the website because you will need to download the torrent to download the ISO for the OS itself. Here it is Pingui OS. It's built on Ubuntu, so it's still Ubuntu and running GNOME and Debian and all that goodness. But it's very clean, as you can see here. It's very nice looking, It and it's geared to be really easy to use for people who haven't used Linux all that much, which I think is pretty cool and I'd like to show off. So to download it, you will most likely want to use a torrent client such as uTorrent, 32-bit or 64-bit based on which system you have most pretty much every system I own is 64 bit so that's what I would get and then there's a mini version for like a much more portable installation I just went with the full it's only like two and a half gigs of the full torrent download that and get the ISO downloaded so I'm going to be installing it here in a virtual machine workstation but the installation procedure will be pretty much exactly the same for installing it in, on a computer as far as the in operating system stuff goes um, I'm just using a virtual machine machine to show off the initial bio settings and things like that because you can't show that with a laptop I haven't got display output working but actual in OS things I will actually be using uh, a laptop for alright so we're gonna create a new virtual machine it's gonna be custom hardware compatibility fine we're going to use an installer ISO of our pin guy here. Next. It is Linux. It's basically going to be Ubuntu 64 bit. Hit next. We're going to call it pin guy OS. We don't want it there. We want it on our temporary storage drive under VM, and we'll name it pin guy. That's fine. Hit OK. Next. I have one processor, but it has eight cores. We will give it six of them. Next. We're going to give it 16 gigabytes of RAM. Well, we'll give it 13.3 gigabytes of RAM, apparently. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Create a new virtual disk. We'll give it a... 50.0 gigabyte disk that it's going to dynamically allocate. We're going to save it in the same folder here, VM. Next, and customize hardware a little bit. Make sure everything looks good. Six core processor, 13 gigs of RAM, USB compatibility. We'll leave it at 2.0. You can do whatever you want. Sound card fine, printer fine, display fine close and finish hopefully it will boot just fine here power it on do not show this hint again all right it legitimately just booted or beeped my system speaker for that that was weird all right so we are going to apparently boot into the live system no, we don't want to do that. We're going to repower it here. Restart. We're going to go to install. Start the installer directly. Again, it's booting my system speaker. That's really creepy. Okay. It had me concerned my computer was rebooting for a moment. Let it load up the installer here if it would like. There we go. Again, all this is very OS X looking. I assume that's just to give the ooh la la fancy graphical appeal. I don't really mind either way for that. Alright, once it loads up here, it has like a left handed cursor that's kind of obnoxious, but whatever. Choose your language. Obviously, we're on Windows. Hit continue. We have enough space, we're connected to the internet. Install third party software, sure we wanted to be able to play MP3s, why wouldn't we? 
Not that I'm going to use it for that, but on the off chance that I am, we want it to be able to. Erase disk and install pin guy. You can also choose security options and partitions. We're just going to install it on the full drive because it's a virtual operating system and that's what we can do. We are in New York. Eastern time zone, good enough. English US, the English US continue. Again, this is basically the same installation as Ubuntu. It is not typing. Adam. That's fine. We'll make the password a letter. Log in automatically since it's a virtual machine. And it's going to install and copy the files here. Wow, it even has the rainbow wheel from OS X. All right. Not sure how I feel about that. The copying files process may take quite a while, especially on the virtual machine, just kind of let it do its thing. Once it's done copying the files, it will of course install the system. Again, this could take any amount of time depending on your system specs. If you're running it in a virtual machine, again, it'll take much, much longer. If you're running it on an actual computer, it may go quicker. Again completely depends on your specs. And to finish up, it will configure the bootloader, update grub, which is basically the bootloader menu. Pretty much everything else it needs to do to finish up the installation. And this part should go pretty quickly. Once the installation is complete, you must restart. Yes, this applies to virtual machines too. If you're running off a CD, you'll have to eject the CD and close your CD tray. If you're running off a USB drive, simply unplug it and hit enter. That is what we're going to be booting into. Hit enter. And it will load your new OS. Hope you enjoyed this installation video guys, as always thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video when I actually have it running on a proper computer. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.